everybody, it's Chuck Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we rescued the lovely Nia and Dapper Dromark from the clutches of the Ardanians in the Titan battleship. And we, uh... Sorry, guys, didn't mean to run you guys over with a tiger. <laughs> like a bunch of bowling pins, no less. And we did learned all sorts of new things about Nia and Dromark themselves as well, equipping them for the fight ahead. This time, we make our daring escape as we prepare to face off against our greatest adversary. Don't forget me! Starting off! Cell doors to the right and left of Nia's cell. We cannot open those yet. That level one access key that we got from Nia's cell can only do so much. I guess they didn't want to make it too easy for us to escape with her, but they made it pretty easy. And arrived. Looks like this is the way to the hangar. What is Poppy doing over there? <laughs> Sounds like a way out of here. Meh meh meh, door is locked, no way to open. Even Poppy probably not able to break through this by slamming face through door. But we're so close. Rex, take a look over there. Good eyes. Could that be the switch to open it? We don't have many options but to try. If it does open the door, we will surely be able to escape through the hangar. Then what are we waiting for? Looks like we have to leave this room for now and find a way up there. Or we can just uh, not do anything with this because there's no power going to it, of course. They, they, they just love putting things like that in front of you. We get a level two access key from this collection of keys. Figured we could just take all of them with us and try them all, but I guess we don't want to raise too much suspicion. Uh, we'll go backwards. Once again, the map is just such a helpful thing to bring up at any given time. Hello. Uh, no, I'm just gonna get out of here. Our true destination is midship walkway door. And we're you. And we're you. I don't know if it's just me, but I always hear that as and we're you. I never hear and we're here, because I'm just a filthy American that doesn't understand the finer complexities of Welsh accents, I guess. It bothers me so much that I always hear it as that, because it just, and we're you, doesn't make any sense. I know she's not saying that. It's not her fault. Nia is wonderful. I am not worthy. Uh, we'll go out here to the bridge. Ah, this is the throne that Captain Podrag sits on when he's issuing the orders to everyone, I bet. Makes sense. <laughs> we'll go out this way. And I'm hoping we can do some fighting with Nia and Dromark here, because we really didn't get to see what they were capable the first time around. All I really said was that they're not entirely that great, but I didn't really go into why, because everything was dying before I could even use one art. It's kind of funny though that I was criticizing them for low damage, and that was what was happening when they were half of the part when they were only half of the party. Out here on port deck, this door is locked as well. We'll come back to that later. Yeah. And you betcha, yeah. I'm a lazy bones. I skip yeah. travel it every which way and everywhere. It's just so nice. Uh, I could go this way, or I could go out that way. Let's go out that way, and let's get into our first fight here. Well, we have the oh, uh, you don't have any skills. Uh, well, I guess we're doing it anyway. Too late now. <laughs> I was gonna try to start it with the break art. So, Dromark gives a little bit of ether, a little bit of defense, and a buttload of ether defense to his driver. Doesn't necessarily make Nia tanky, but it is nice to have in some specific situations. By going into Enhance Arts, we see that Nia's been gaining WP all this time. Prison does give you a lot of experience, I suppose. I'm gonna go with Healing Halo. I've already upgraded Butterfly Blade, and that's definitely her and Dromark's best art. We'll go with that. On the affinity chart, she doesn't really have any skill points, actually. That's kind of disappointing. And I'm gonna give Nia the Bunnet Choker. I've mentioned before that enemies hardly ever resist anything besides break, because if you can inflict break on them, you should be able to do pretty much everything. By having a higher luck stat on Nia, that'll assure that her break will be going off a lot more often, and we want that happening in lots I'm and lots right. of fights. Just gonna I sneak in right here, somehow. don't notice me at all, just ignore the dog that was barking in that particular moment that saw me. Fire defensive, don't really care about elemental defenses. As for Dromark's abilities in this fight, Dromark is the only Twin Rings rare blade in existence. 
He's really useful as a healer that joins up early on, and ring attacks are very fast, but they're low in damage, take a long time to recharge their arts, and he almost never gets criticals. His battle skills are actually quite terrible. His first one, Celestial Gift, reduces damage taken from blade combos. Nia would need to have aggro and be attacked by a driver, and that can realistically go an entire playthrough without ever coming to pass. One of the most useless skills ever. Uh, what, 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 what? <laughs> he ran in here to go get help and we already killed them, and he hid behind the door. <laughs> Poor man. I actually feel kind of sorry for him. All right, well, uh, out this way. No, I thought there was something out here, but I guess not. We can open up this door. He's just really strong in the right side, so he can jump up. Poppy power. Ooh, I don't have super strength at level two or focus level two. How close are we to getting those? Level three trust, we're not that close. And Poppy's extremely not close. Pop Pyro, we probably could do it with some pouch item spamming, but if Poppy's that far away, I don't want to do it. I would just take a long time. After humorous and disappointing interruptions alike, Dromark's other battle skills as we get into another fight here. Howl of Calm is just the damage heal ox core in the form of an ability. I've already given my opinion on this, and I don't like it. And River's Blessing is definitely his best skill, which is actually kind of sad because it's just arts heal. Mia gets HP back every time she uses an art. Even worse, you would think that Celestial Gift would be nicer when the enemy has AoE specials. It does not reduce special damage. It's stuff like volcano damage over time. Even beyond that, if Nia has aggro, she didn't get it because of Dromark with his damage sucking so bad. What is he actually saying in that voice clip? I want to know. To me, it sounds like something something f you up, and I know it's not that because it would probably raise the age rating of this game. You only get so many of those before you go up from a T rating to an M rating, so they can't give it to a regular enemy as something that they can repeatedly say in a battle like that. I swear I have good reason to my swears. They aren't just happening for the sake of happening. Really not feeling these slow arts. Sorry, Nia. Boy, Dromark sure is undromarkable. But seriously, it's conspiracy theory time for why I think they did this. I think they gave Dromark worthless skills to make him a consistent healer when placed on the AI. He's very simple in how he works, there isn't a lot for the computer to keep track of, and most players aren't going to be the healer for themselves. Healing Halo is a good healing art, and... It doesn't really take much effort to keep the party fully healed because of that. Nothing is worse than when a healer just doesn't do what they're needed for, so I think they wanted a beyond basic character for sake of consistency. All three of his battle skills effectively do the same thing. Make Nia just a little harder to kill. I think he was meant to be consistent. Got two ways. Down the stairs. Takes us into the hangar itself on the lower level. See that icon floating over there? I do now. It indicates the location of a heart-to-heart -heart talk. It, doesn't, it just says heart-to-heart. -heart. I'm not going to get that nitpicky, don't worry. Heart-to-hearts are important events that let your party members grow closer together as friends. You'll run into these icons all over all rest, so it's a good idea to check them out as you encounter them. To view a heart-to-heart, -heart, you'll need to have the right people present in your party at the right time of day. You can view the conditions by accessing the icon. The more heart-to-hearts you view, the bond of trust and affinity between you and your blade will deepen. I've had enough of playing as Nia and Dromark. Their attacks are cool looking and they're kind of fun in longer fights, but against these shorter fights with regular enemies, they're not all that fun. Dromark specials are pretty unremarkable as well. They're just low damage, low hit counts with a focus on healing. His level two special is probably my favorite because it heals the whole party. And I don't even get a chance to use my double spinning edge because my sword bash just finishes them off so quickly. See, what do I even need a healer for in a situation like that? Right, we're supposed to be having a touching moment. The inside of a Titan battleship is way different from a Monoceros, eh? What is Monoceros? Rex, you saw it, right? Moored at a pier back in Goldmouth. Jin and Co's black boat. Ah, that really impressive one. It runs without being hooked up to a Titan, right? I'm no expert, but yeah, looked like it. Sound awesome! Tora want to see too! You won't get the chance. Unless we see those Torna guys again. Nah, 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 nah. 
Tora changed mind. No need to see. Master Pond changed mind at drop up hat. Well, the Monoceros was pretty sweet, but this is nothing to scoff at either. For sure. It's full of things I've never seen before. Well, that's because this vessel is result of latest breakthroughs in our Danian tech. Regular folk never so much as set foot on board. You say breakthroughs in technology, but what you mean is salvage stuff, right? Um, not exclusively. I see lots of homegrown improvements as well. Like this, see? Whatever they've stuffed in here, it's been messed with so much, I can't tell what it was to start with. That control panel, it transmits signal to Titan nerves. By running cables to different parts of Titan from here, can control signal flow much more better. What? That's amazing. And this cable itself have 2.4 times the speed and 12 times the capacity of previous iteration. In other words, it on whole other level to stuff other countries use. Ah. So if they put this in a smaller Titan vessel, it would work even better. Pinpon, correct. <sighs> they seem to be having fun, but it's all gibberish to me. Poppy, what do you think? Master Pond act so proud? Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Tora, very glad you ask. That because tech used in this Titan battleship is same as what Poppy's muscles and drivetrain use. Poppy is surprised. But however, though, ones that Poppy use are even more improved than these here. Yet more surprised! Are you saying you stole the tech from Mora Day? Come on, Tora. Is that what you call sporting behavior? Tora take calculated risk in service to cause of scientific advancement. As a result, not even our Danian scientists capable of reverse engineer Poppy systems. So, no worries there. Upon learning secret of Poppy's birth, Poppy feels sense of unease. Uh, everything fine. Probably. Now, Rex Rex, no time for chit chat. Let's get going. That was kind of creepy, actually, to think that was the happier of the two options. In every heart to heart, we will be seeing every possible option. That not even so bad. Oh, really? Poppy have access to much varied information. Considering interests of Masterpon, technology info is especially rich. So for Poppy is not issue following conversation in question. Moreover, if necessary, Poppy could outgeek Masterpon if Poppy try. Right, okay. I'm sorry I adopted you. No worry, Mia. Poppy can also hold conversation on favorite bug dishes of Mia. You're too kind. I should point out, though, it's not bugs I like, but fish. Meh! Poppy apologize. Poppy update her database now. Master Pond not always fastidious in data entry, so mistakes happen. Tora? I like bugs now, do I? Mama, Tora suddenly feel very unsafe. Rex Rex, we should move on. We stay here, something bad bound to happen. Like what? No time to waste. We go. Oh, uh, you just called in reinforcements while we were having our touching conversation. Uh, well, I guess they thought it'd be rude to interrupt us. We'll hit the circuit box. Some very Aegis-looking tubes are going into that, and then we'll also hit this to make it easy to come back up any time we wish. We could head down and escape, or we could go back up those stairs and see what was on the other pathway. Over here, we have this. It probably would work with a key. But more importantly, Battle Command. You guys want to know how to fight? Boom! Uh, no, oh, crap, I was on the wrong target. I thought I was on the soldier. Well, I got no one but myself to blame. Going into double spinning edge. I have... Wow, okay. Uh, I was mentioning how that was not that good of an art, but never really went into detail about that. It's because Sword Bash is just faster and it hits for more damage. You might think that with it being a two-hit art, that it justifies its longer recharge time, but between the longer recharge time and how long the attack itself is, the duration just makes it so much longer than relying on Sword Bash in most situations. 
I don't like using the word animation, but it makes sense, and it's the most understandable word that could be used in that situation. Yeah, it's just a very long attack, and between the longer animation and longer cooldown time than Sword Bash, it comes out to doing a lot less damage than Sword Bash. And you all saw right there that because the first hit got blocked, we just straight up don't get the second hit at all some of the time. On some really block-heavy tanky enemies, it's a pretty piss-poor art. It has some uses and some strategies. I just think that it is a tad overappreciated and isn't really that great. Uh, can I take out this guy? Man, they just all gang up on you instantly. It's almost like they're in an army or something. In this cacophony, Nia got a level up. Decadent finale at a, a lot of skills all around. And a lot of treasure. There's a common core crystal. And an arts heal, that's a new effect. 3% HP restored every time using a driver art. Not the best effect. It could make some attackers a little more self-sufficient, not needing to rely on a dedicated healer much, but we have a dedicated healer and she's doing just fine. One step closer to becoming real blade. Oh, you're doing just fine, Poppy. <laughs> what is this guy doing? doing i thought that these were phones for a second and then i zoomed in and they're just lamps and what is he just like ah oh, you scraps of paper are the only ones who understand me you see dougal got real mad and he sent me to my room i wanted to go back this way to show the battle command connects to this room and i just kind of stumbled upon this as i was walking around a little bit I'm gonna try to drop down very carefully here. It's a little bit tough. Uh, oh no, that beam is fine actually. We can just drop onto that. And then we walk across this. I don't know what's in this treasure trove and I won't know for another few minutes. The one time I wish I could actually say Joy-Con drift, it was not. <laughs> uh, walk over here, first person mode and treasure, treasure acquired. acquired. What is the stuff? Common core crystal, damage heal. Nothing too exciting, but that crystal might have somebody good in it. Back in battle command, uh, yeah, we'll just let him be off in his own little world. He can turn around in a few hours and find out that all of his friends are dead. No need to ruin his bliss right this second. Uh, we'll leave battle command and head out this way, going to the opposite side of the hangar to show there is a locked door on the side. Our access key cannot open everything, so those doors that were next to Nia's cell, we can't open those either with our current access key. On the way back, I chose to switch out a zombie and bring in Sword Eye. Sounds like a painful type of eye to have, but I'm sh I gave him a bronze chip so we could raise his stats a little bit, and I thought we could demonstrate how good common blades can be going ahead. Uh, we'll switch in Pyra for right now, though, because I do kind of want her at the beginning of fights. Hangar Division Console. Pull down both of those lovers feeling like a badass and all it does is just open one door. Oh, but it flipped on a light as well. One was the light, one was the door. Ha! Ah, not much further to exit! Not so fast, my dear intruders! Letting a terrorist from Torna out of my grasp would make me look very bad indeed. Oh, that emerald core crystal! You must be the Aegis! But as it pains me to admit it, it seems Morag was right on the money. You know who Pyra is? Are you trying to capture her too, you ratbag? No, no, language. But of course. The most powerful blade in all of history, with the power to rend all rest asunder! Only a fool would know of that power and not seek to claim it. And I am no fool. Therefore, I will claim her as my own. You cannot argue with such logic. Flaw detected in final step of logic. Sorry, pal. But you've done all the capturing you're gonna do today. Such impertinence for a dirty terrorist. Let's go, Pyra. Got it. Oh, we're in real trouble now. We're fighting someone who knows what the color green is. Now that we've got ourselves a decently sized party, it's worth knowing how to deal with aggro. I dare say you've already noticed, but while a driver is being attacked by an enemy, they'll be marked with a red ring. We call this the red ring of death. The wedges on the marker point to the targeting enemy or enemies showing the direction you're being attacked from. Aggro is the measure of an enemy's aggression toward the drivers they're fighting. 
The more viciously you attack an enemy, the more it'll want to attack you back. Drawing aggro is dangerous for healers, since they have low HP, they're more likely to just be incapacitated by attacks. Make sure to keep Nia's aggro low. Drivers that have defense-oriented classes are better equipped to draw aggro and absorb enemy attacks, so right now, it's better for Tora to have most aggro. Drivers with fighter-type classes are the ones that focus on dealing damage to the enemy. That's Rex, so make him the mainstay of your offense. Here's the cheat sheet. Defenders take the hit, healers heal the defenders, fighters hurt the enemy. Well, now that you know about aggro and driver class, that's two things to keep in mind when you're given Dougal what for! Dougal has no sort of resistances, a very defense-oriented enemy who will move away from attacks, being awkward to get bonus effects against, and he has the ability to guard from any side. I'm gonna keep going right here. I need to get my specials going up. Tora, if you could topple him. Give him one of those trademark Tora topples. Be very good. No, not gonna get the timing, okay. Nope, missed the window a bit. I was trying to stop him from moving around so that we could rack up some big damage on him. When enemies are toppled, they can't dodge or move around. That coward. He's just hiding behind his blade. What? Does common sense elude you? A blade can regenerate from any injury. Whereas if I die, my blade will return to a useless core. So it's okay to use them as a living shield. You weasel. Even if it can regenerate, that doesn't mean blades don't feel pain. <laughs> How cute! The flea bag thinks we should care about blades feeling! <laughs> I wonder if you can feel pain! His blade cannot be targeted on its own, similar to how our blades aren't attacked and it's the drivers that we that uh, the enemies are going for against us. His blade's name is Dolmus, and it was actually the final boss of Xenoblade Chronicles 2's E3 demo. There it had the name Bomber Dolmus, a name that would eventually get used for a similar enemy in some DLC. You'll see it one. He's a pretty remote character, but it's interesting that he once had more prominence. Dougal, he's just keeps running away. Oh, a blowdown right there, okay. Pineapple! His grenade attack, he yelled pineapple when he used it. That's a reference to uh, American military grade uh, grenades. His enraged status, he's just changed his element to fire. He now has a weakness against water. And when he's enraged, we have to watch out because he's gonna run away from us a lot more and have increased movement speed while doing that. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Top of volcano, come on. Switch to our axe, switch to our axe, switch to our axe, go. Launch, no, ah, I missed it, it's kinda slow. That's what I was trying to do, was get off launch, because launch can only happen if the enemy has been toppled first. That's why I wanted to use a common blade for that. Wow, I won by... <laughs> I won looking about as lame as possible. <laughs> How? A mangy flea bug and a bunch of stinking kids? My triumphant return to more Ardain. With the Aegis. Oh. Out like a light. That's what he gets for trying to execute Nia. What? He was trying to take me back to Mordardane. Rex, this is a trap. A trap? So they weren't actually going to execute you? No time! Talk later, Rex Rex. We should escape! Master Pawn is right. Chance of reinforcements very high. Let us make haste. Getting out of town would be a good start. You know what I do when I'm caught in a trap? Explore and look for money! <laughs> We're gonna go around this hangar because there's actually, I think, one thing around here that I wanna grab? Uh, yes, right up on top of this box. Huh. You're all uh, this is gonna fling my face right into the wall when that opens with me on top of it? Nah, it's okay. My lead boots are heavy enough for that scale chip. We can try that in our common. That is better for him. I don't know if I want to use it on them though, just because we don't have the capability to buy these for right now. Maybe Dromark. Maybe Azami. Maybe I'll save it. I think that's the right course of action to go through. And also, did I not get the items that he is supposed to drop right there because I was in blowdown and the cutscene took precedence before they flew into me? After any kind of scripted fight like that, they're supposed to have the items fly into you, and I didn't see that happen, so... Did I just miss out on them? I went back to redo the fight, 
that's what the items are, and I certainly did not have any of those. <laughs> he did at least give us the pouch expansion kit. Let's see that right now. By going onto these screens and pressing X, I could see how this could be easily missed, you can expand and create a second pouch to use two items at the same time. Tora needs this so badly because he only has one Even blade. Kobe can smell such delicious scent. So he just needs to be getting his more effects a lot more. Now we can have special recharge enhanced and art recharge enhanced on the same character. Sticking with the setup I got otherwise, we've made it out. Hey, look what I found. Congratulations. It's getting pretty late at night. Here at the Torgoth relay base, there is a surprisingly quiet it's a surprisingly quiet atmosphere with not a lot of soldiers around. If we go off to the side here, there is a new salvage point. Guys, hear me out. They'll never find us below the clouds. Time for some treasure hunting. Bay! Oh! oh, oh. Oof. <laughs> oh man. Did I come up with a load of guff again? Oh, what are these guys? We fought you on the, uh, on the, uh, ship where Pyro was being held. Let's, let's this go. was a dreadful idea. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. This was the trap! They knew that a... They knew that Rex could never resist an honest-to-goodness salvage point that they'd never accessed before! After running away from a fight like that, the chest despawns, so there's no hope of getting the item after going away from the enemy. Over this way, there's a treasure chest that we can't open, but we might as well have it marked on the map and remember it for later. These flames again! It's her! And with a driver too this time. That's Morag, the flame bringer. Morag? Special Inquisitor Morag of Morardane, the most powerful driver in the Empire, and wielder of Bridget, the most powerful blade. So together they're like ultra powerful. It looks like they were waiting for us. Yes, indeed. I did feel like we got away a little too easily. I don't know why I expected Dougal to slow you down at all. It was you, right? You're the one who spread the rumor that I was going to be executed. Just to lure Rex and the others here. You catch on quickly? Yes. You certainly proved useful. However... Rex and Pyra are the real price. <laughs> Not quite. The Emerald Core Crystal is the sign of the Aegis. If that blade is indeed the Aegis, then there's something I must do. What do you mean? The power to sunder all rest itself. I cannot allow that to happen again. Hyra destroyed the world. Don't be so stupid. You mean you didn't know? Five hundred years ago, during the Aegis War, the Aegis sank three continents to the Cloud Sea's bed. Three titans destroyed? I speak not but historical fact. I'm on to you. You want to use Pyra as some kind of weapon? We're not gonna let you do that. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. And what if we resist? Then I will have to restrain you by force. In that case, I'll make this nice and clear. You will never take her! Then let's see if you have the strength to back up those words, boy. OK, 
She's so cool, and our asses are so screwed. Eh, don't worry. I've run away from a Lego stronger than this before. I'm sending real threatening right now. Morag has a weakness against water. Not gonna be doing that with Pyra. We're gonna open up, do some good damage to her, get our arts built up. She is high on agility. She is all about dodging attacks and then dishing out lots of damage on her own. Her being a driver, she has access to specials and blade combos as well, able to do damage over time on you, just as your fire arts are able to do to her. We're gonna have Tora open with his level two special, and I have a major plan in mind here. What I need next is my level three. If Nia could inflict a break on him right about now, or on her, that would be excellent. Uh, third auto attack. Oh, oh. Of course, I clanged off right on that hit when I was really hoping for it. I want to get my level three. There we go. Well now, it seems like it's finally time to talk about level four specials. Level four specials are more special than the specials you're used to. You can't charge them up by using arts. How do you use them then? Well, you need to stay physically close to your blade. Stay close to your blade and increase in, uh, stay close to your blade and your level four special gauge will increase. When the gauge is full, activating the special will make Driver and Blade unite in body and soul to deliver a truly spectacular attack. We'll try that right about now. We're physically close to Pyra, you see it building up, or maybe we won't actually. I want to do this instead. Boom! That is our first instance of a launch. We don't have a rare blade that's capable of doing that, so that's why I wanted my common blade. If there's just cases where you don't have a rare blade that can achieve a certain thing, then it can be good to just uh, let a common blade do it to bridge a gap in the moveset. I kind of hate that it had to come at the cost of our level 4 special, but oh well, it's, it's fine. We've seen Burning Sword a couple times before. Tora, you do stone. Pyra. You come on out. When he's got the stone inflicted, we'll follow up with our fire. There we go. Let's go. Good smash. I'm with you. Burning sword. sword. Super. Good. Woo. Yeah. Got her down. Morek has an enraged status. She gets more evasion from attacks, but that's okay. We hit her anyway. Stronger. <laughs> 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 Uh, what? Ah! Uh. <laughs> Pyra! Uh. Ha! 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 Uh. <laughs> Stubborn child, why don't you just give it up? Yeah! Yeah! Uh. You'll never get Pyra. She's more than just the Aegis or some kind of weapon. She's a living being. Pyra has somewhere she needs to go. And I'm gonna help her. I'm not gonna let you stand in her way. This is getting tiresome. The power of the Aegis is formidable, but the driver's skill betrays her. Stay vigilant, Morag. An unknown power lurks within this bow. But of course, this blade he calls Pyra. Your flames burn far stronger than hers, but... Her flames hide something deeper. Is everyone all right? Hanging in there. Those two, very strong. I know. At this rate, we'll never. There has to be a way. Some kind of. She's a fireblade. We've got to find. Water. There! Guys, are you ready to run? Hmm? Sure. Then follow me. Ah, 
There they are. Pyra, can you manage a full powered blast? Yes, maybe one or two. That'll do. Getting predictable, boy. Look who's talking. Puppy, no! Roger, Roger. The water time. So that's their plan. I feel slighted. How so? They actually held back against me in battle. You think that boy... Did you not see? He could have struck me with that blow, but he averted his aim. He did have good instincts, too. And I'm gonna help her. I'm not going to let you stand in her way. The Aegis. If she is traveling with that boy, perhaps it is worth letting them roam free for a while. You mean... We'll cross paths again. And when we do, we shall see. I don't think they're following us. Perhaps we're safe for now. You're right. We should get some rest. I can't go any further. Ah, oh, Tora is pooped as well. <sighs> oh, See you later. Huh? We are grateful for all you've done. We wish you well on your travels. Farewell. I want to reach Elysium. What? I made a promise. I'm taking Pyra to Elysium. It's just... She gave half of her life to save mine. I owe her. Oh, Rex. But half the world seems to be after her. With the Titans dying off. Living space is running out. That's going to start wars. And people need weapons to fight wars. That's why they want her. <sighs> if I can prove Elysium exists, maybe I can stop the war that's coming. But... Fighting Morag taught me something. I'm not strong enough. I can't do this alone. Nia, you're a driver. We could really use a companion like you, if you wanted. Elysium, do you really believe in that myth, kid? Well, 
Pyra told me that she was born there. Yet here she is. So it must exist. Right? <laughs> Your logic is almost as good as Dougal's. Listen, Rex. I don't know if you're stupid or just too nice for your own good. But what if Pyra's just lying? What if this is all an act and one day she turns round and stabs you in the back? Pyra wouldn't do that. Of course I wouldn't. I don't have a knife. So... serious. She... <laughs> <laughs> An emerald core crystal is the sign of the Aegis, huh? Sure, why not? This could be interesting. Really? My lady? I kind of want to see this Elysium for myself now. Maybe it really does exist. It does. An endless field of green among the clouds, huh? If the legends are true, even people like me. Ah, I'm sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? It's fine. I'm fine. See? I can swing it like this, and it doesn't even... Ah, ah, ah. Oh. I knew it. Thanks. I feel much better now. I'm sure that's Nia's poultice doing its job. Thanks. Pyra? You hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Hey, let me help. Thank you, Rex. No worries. Least I can do. There, all done. How's that? Hmm. Looks good. Um, Rex? Look, they're the same. Oh. Uh, yeah? I guess they are. <laughs> Yeah, it really is. I guess that's probably because you made it, Pyra. Huh? Um, no, what? I didn't mean it like that. You're just, um, really good at making fires, that's all. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> 